Good morning, ladies and gentlemen. My name is Clever Silva, and I'm an associate professor at the University of Brasilia. I'm here to present the paper titled Impact of DFT Based Phaser Estimation Errors Due to Com Commutation Failures of LCC HPDC Links on the Protection of AC Lines in the Near Vicinity. This research has been carried out along with my colleagues José Jorge and Nilo Ribeiro from the Brazilian Utility Eletronauti and my colleague Professor Felipe Lopes from the Federal University of Paraíba, Brazil. So, as we know, in huge interconnected systems, load centers are usually very far from the main generation plants, requiring bulk power transmission over very long distance. Among different feasible solutions, LCC HVDC technology is the most widespread. Nevertheless, the LCC HVDC technology suffered from problems due to commutation failures, mainly caused by faults in the AC transmission grid that leads to voltage sags in the inverter stations. Consequently, protection of AC lines in the near vicinity of the LCC HVDC links may misoperate as reported uh, in real world applications in most countries around the world. So, aiming to understand the problem better, let's see an example of the transient performance of LCC HVDC links during AC fault taking place nearby. These are the DC currents in a bipolar system. As one can see, converters' response leads to quite distorted DC currents after the AC fault takes place. During this time, commutation failures may occur. For example, these are the currents on the DC side of the Y delta converter transformer. As one can see, during commutation failures, a converter valve that is supposed to turn off continues to conduct in such a way that the current is not transferred to the next valve in the fire sequence. As a consequence, there is a momentary interruption of the power transmission through the link, leading the disturbance to be aggravated. These are the AC voltage and current in the near vicinity. It can be seen that the transient response of the LCC link leads to quite distorted AC waveform, mainly during commutation failures. Therefore, an essential question arises. How do phaser-based protection relays perform in the case of distorted waveforms? In order to answer this question, we must revisit some essential concepts of the phaser estimation process implemented in commercially available relays. So, for example, consider a fault that takes place in AC system. Here we can see the AC voltage and current signals and the magnitude of the fundamental phaser estimated using full cycle and half cycle DFT based algorithms. Now, if we consider harmonic components also arise just after fault inception, we can see that phaser estimation using the half cycle algorithm suffer from inaccuracy. On the other hand, there is no error caused, caused by harmonic components when using full cycle algorithms. However, if we consider interharmonic components arise just after fault inception, both full cycle and half cycle DFT based phaser estimation algorithms suffer from inaccuracy. To understand these results, we can analyze the frequency response of both DFT based phaser estimation algorithms. Here we can see the frequency response of the traditional DFT based algorithms, considering the sampling rate of 16 samples per cycle. As one can see, Full cycle filters reject all harmonics, but their frequency response have side lobes between the harmonics, revealing interharmonics are not filtered out. Half cycle filters, in turn, do not reject even harmonics, as one can see here, and also it does, they does not reject DC components. And their frequency response have large side lobes 
than those of full cycle filters, what results in more significant errors on phase estimation. It's not worth that if the low pass and aliens and bottle of filter is considered, the side lobe is in the magnitude of the frequency response are reduced indeed, notwithstanding errors caused by interharmonics remain. So, as we know, LCC HPDC systems add harmonic components in AC system due to convert a steady state operation, but they are gotten rid of by installing AC filters in the system. Nevertheless, harmon interharmonics may be also added in, the, in AC waveforms because of the converter transient response during folds and other switching maneuvers. Therefore, clearly, it requires a thorough analysis of the phase summation process during the transient performance of LCC 8 VDC links. So, that's the why the main goal of this paper is to assess the impact of phase estimation errors due to transient response of LCC HPDC links on the nearby AC lines protection, mainly when commutation failures take place. So, in order to do that, ATP HP draw simulations were carried out using a time step of 1 microsecond. Then, a third-order low-pass anti-alias bottle-wire filter with cutoff frequency at 180 Hz was applied, and then the signals were resampled considering the sampling rate of 16 samples per cycle. Here, two half-cycle and two full-cycle DFT-based algorithms uh, were implemented, thereby we assessed a transmission line protection performance in the near vicinity of the LCC HVC link, considering this as protection function using quadrilateral operation, characteristic, differential protection function, and directional protection function too. Uh, so, in order to do that, the LCC HVDC Madeira River link installed in Brazil was modeled using ATP ATP draw. The operation of the two bipoles and the AC system in the near vicinity was considered. The performance of the protection of the 500 kV line between substation Araraquara 2 and Taubaté was assessed, mainly regarding security issues for external faults. Therefore, several external closing faults were simulated near the Taubaté station, as one can see here in this zoomed figure. Among different obtained results, we are showing here those related to an AG sold external fault. Here we can see the results for distance protection. First, when we consider both LCC HVDC bipoles are out of service, only AC in feed current flows throughout the system. In this way, the performance of the distance protection was expected, such that the fault is seen in the second zone uh, of the relay installed in the Aralaquara 2 station. However, if both LCC HVDC bipoles are in service, the AC waveforms become quite distorted, mainly when commutation failures take place. Therefore, errors in the phaser estimation process arise, leading the first zone to detect the fault, thereby false strip common may be issue, as one can see here. Furthermore, as one can see, errors observed for half-cycle DFT-based algorithms are more significant than those obtained using full-cycle algorithms. Here we can see results for the differential protection. As one can see, the differential protection remains stable regardless the LCC bipole are in service or out of service. In other words, differential protection was reduced to errors on phase estimation caused by the LCC HVC link's transient response in all evaluated cases. Finally, we show results for the directional protection function. Here we depict the response of the zero sequence directional function of the relay at the remote bus for the same AG closing external fault. As one can see, 
regardless the LCC bipoles are in service or out of service, the relay sees a reversal fault, as expected. Thereby, false trip command issue is avoided when the directional elements are combined with teleprotection schemes such as POTT and DCB. However, in the case of negative sequence directional elements, it's recommended not to use small pickup values to ensure security for external faults. So, as conclusions, we can point out that Commutation failures cause distortion on voltage and current waveforms of nearby AC system, leading to phase estimation errors. These errors are even more aggravated for half-cycle algorithms. Revealing the use of short windows may be an issue for protection scheme in these scenarios. These errors in some cases may lead on one of distance relays to misoperate, overreaching closing external faults. In order to overcome this drawback, the zone 1 reach can be reduced, or as a more conservative approach, zone 1 can be deactivated. Differential elements remain secure, preventing false trip for external faults in all evaluated cases. Directional elements, in turn, operate most of the time correctly but for the sake of security, it's recommended not to choose small pickup values. Last but not least, it's not worth that even though errors in phasor estimation of AC voltage and current always arise due to LCC ATVDC transient response, not always they lead relays to misoperate. Even so, since the LCC HVDC transient response is unpredictable in some extent, it's recommended to thoroughly evaluate the performance of line protection function using the MTP based software or real time simulator instead of only use phasor based software as it has been traditionally used by protection engineers. Thank you so much for your attention.